Okay, good. So, just finished the, the second shadows. So, as you can see, it really brings a lot of details to our character. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, let's not stop now. Still have a few steps before we finish him. Um, so now we're gonna add some small light effects on the characters. I'm gonna create another layer. I'll call it light. Uh, create a clipping mask again. And this time it's gonna be an overlay mode. Okay. And I'm gonna use white color. And here we're gonna add some highlights. So as you can see, look, this this blending mode overlay is really really nice to make uh, light effects on the on a character. So 100% might be a bit too much. Let's go with let's go with 60 for now. Okay. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the gold part now. Sorry. I'll select everything. Okay. So remember what I said at the beginning where the light comes from? It's the same thing and now we're gonna add some some nice light reflections. This brings something, yeah, it looks really cool, like that. Like here. So everything that's facing the light is actually being, is in the light, like this. Okay, nice. So I like to add this kind of effect when I have some uh, metal part like this, like bracelets with the, uh, you see, carved things inside. It brings a lot of, uh, you see this little shiny things? I like to do that. Okay, so this part here. The good thing with the overlay is that even when the the some parts are in the shadows, you see you can you can still use it. It will still be uh, darker than the than these part. You see, it's I'm, I'm just using white, but it's very there's a big difference there. That's a very uh, very cool blending mode. I really like it. So you can do that almost everywhere. Nice. Okay. I think I can add a bit here on my black part there. That works too. Okay. Cool. So I will do the same everywhere can do this also on the skin. Uh, see, whoosh, wrong layer. Sorry. Okay, let's try that on the skin. Let's see how it looks. Will not put too much. Just highlight some points like this, some area. Mm. 
think it's still a bit too much. Maybe I'll go with 50% opacity for this. Okay. Well, I, I will make the entire thing like this, and uh, if it's still too light for me, I can uh, we can modify the color later. It's not a it's not a problem. Because at the end of the picture, we will adjust the <coughs> contrast and the values and a lot of stuff. And this will help to make the picture look better. That's not bad, actually. Okay. Some highlights everywhere. Yeah, that looks cool. Let's keep it like this. So I would try to not to put too much, just to at the right place. Be one here. Okay, yeah, it's going to be enough for the arm. Um, let's continue with the skin. Let's go to the face. Okay, don't be so angry, man. <laughs> uh, wrong layer that happens all the time make sure you're on the right layer because uh, sometimes it happens you you work like an hour and then suddenly you realize that shit, it's not the right layer that's a real nightmare and also save your work as often as you can yeah, I'm gonna do it now I had lots of uh, bad experience like this. <clears throat> okay. Oops. Maybe I can add one here. Let's see. Actually, every time I start like this, I never know what I'm gonna do. It's just a. Uh, I'm just try, and if it <coughs> if I like it, I just keep it. So far, it's not bad. make some reflection on the lips
Not too much, not too much. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Going pretty well. So once again, I have to do that everywhere. Golden part. That works pretty well for the gold. Okay. When you do metallic surface, you can just add some light points like this in the, in the direction of the light. It gives a nice feeling. That's pretty nice. Gonna add that. Just gonna select this part. And I will. Add a bit of reflections here. Yeah, nice. Yep, looks cool. Okay, let's continue that.
Okay, we're done with the light effects. So this is what I did. You can see before and after. So we're almost done huh, with the uh, with this character. Uh, I want to add another step here. Uh, I always like to add a second um, light source. Uh, it brings uh, really a lot of things to the to the to the picture. So we'll add another layer. Create a clipping mask. Uh, I will rename it Light Two. And this time, we will put it in uh, screen mode. And I want to add, um, I don't know how to call that exactly, like atmospheric light, something like this. Uh, you know, light always have some kind of uh, refractions everywhere. Uh, so I will choose a very dark blue, very, very dark like this. And with the screen mode, it will give it will give a nice uh, wait. Change my my tool. Okay. This will give a nice bluish feeling to the to the second light. So let me select the skin. Let's add it. So now might be a little bit too saturated. I'm going to change that, but first I want to feel so put some light on his arm. Like this. Yeah, the light is a bit too strong now. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, it might be a little bit too much, so I'm gonna change the hue saturation. Um, maybe reduce the saturation a little, a bit darker, maybe. Not too much. Let's say it's fine. Then I'm gonna select my blue again. And I think I can continue with that. So um, this light, this second light source, I like to add it. Um, it's gonna be at the, the opposite side from the main light source. Remember the main light source is coming from the top right, top left. So this second light source will come from the bottom right. So I'm going to put this everywhere. Like that, just some slight touch like that, like that. Not too much. Gonna reduce the opacity. Like okay, eighty percent will be fine. Okay. Yeah, it's it's not much. It's a very simple thing, but in the end, I think it brings a very nice effect to the 
the whole thing the whole thing okay so that's the that's the last big step for this character then we have a few I will add a few things later, but it will be much faster to do. These are the main, uh, the, the, the big things I like to do first. Then it's just some small adjustment and adding a few details, just to make the picture a little bit better. And adding a second light source like that uh, brings more, uh, you know, uh, it, it gives a, f a 3D feeling to the to the picture, m more volume to the to your character. I used to make only one light before, but uh, since I noticed this this fact, I I, I add a second light source light source all the time. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's do that quickly.